Hello everyone, Ronim is 2099 here, and so today we got some lovely, lovely gifts from the Papa G, Matt Reeves. <laughs> we got some photos of onset photos, well, photos of the onset look of the Batman, and we got some confirmation for what some characters are looking like. So, number one, really happy, but we got photos of Bruce Wayne, you know, being Bruce Wayne. We got more photos of good old Selena Kyle. We got our first photo of Carmine Falcone, and we got our full body shot of Penguin, uh, which is all very exciting, and we got somewhat a confirmation for hopefully, I'm hoping, Mad Hatter, but um, yeah, so I'm just going to talk about some theories I have, some ones that have been rattling around this brain that I think would be pretty cool. Again, I could be wrong. I could be right. Go into this video with your own um, you know, scarcity, you know, if you're scared that I'm going to spoil the whole movie for you, well, probably not, um, well, you can just skip this video, I won't be too angry about it, but if you haven't already, you should probably subscribe, that's a real nice thing to do, hey, anyway, um, <laughs> so my first theory is that, uh, the new and improved Mad Hatter that we're getting won't be the comic book version, which, you know, is kind of more insane, rather than, um, kind of villainish. I think this one is probably going to be more of a, a safe drug dealer. You know, he's going to be more of a drug dealer, which will make him more of a problem in total for Gotham than a problem for Batman. So I think that will be kind of something that, like, he wants to take down his empire, but he feels like the Mad Hatter feels like he's a kingpin, and he most likely will still kind of be insane, but um, maybe there will just be an act that he does at night, you know, something like that. Uh, my other big theory is that um, Catwoman will have broken into Carmine Falcone's, I'm assuming, safe. That's where we get the first photo of her, you know, with her, with the, um, you know, open face thingy, thingy. <laughs> you know, the, the, the handmade suit that we've got a photo of from the trailer. And, you know, when she fights Batman, I'm assuming that Batman's going to stop her from robbing Carmine Falcone. And um, Batman will lose or something or, you know, run away because it's Carmine. Uh, maybe he's scared of him, or maybe he's trying to take him down, but, you know. Anyway, they get into a rumble, and then I'm guessing that, of course, of course, Catwoman will scrape Carmine Falcone like she's always done. Um, and I think in one of the photos I pointed out on my Instagram, it looks like the cat got him. Um, so I'm definitely thinking that Carmine Falcone is going to be scratched by her, and maybe he'll use that as a guilt trip, you know, because she honestly has kind of a poor costume, and make her steal some things for him, you know. And I think that could lead into problems with the Penguin and Catwoman and such. And the Penguin wanting to kill Catwoman because she's been stealing stuff for Carmine. And that would kind of tie in those guys together well. And I'm assuming that uh, Riddler goons will be more active. And I'm assuming that the... Um, a lot of people have been confused by this. I kind of thought this was just given. That the goons uh, in the trailer, you know, when Robert Pattinson says, I'm vengeance, and, you know, beats out everlasting crap out of one of them, I'm most likely assuming, and probably am right, that those are, uh, penguin henchmen. Um, maybe they, uh, you know, like the penguin, or they are, they're interested in him, or they just, you know, are, um, you know, they work for him, maybe they're even guards at the, uh, Iceberg Lounge, because we know, after all, we're gonna see some stuff from the Iceberg Lounge, after all, they were going to do a thing where if you wanted to come on set, you could come on set, have a nice dinner at the Iceberg Lounge, and then, uh, you know, this thing happened that we call COVID-19. And now, yeah, that's not going to happen. Definitely not. Um, so I definitely think that, I, along with it, think that, um, you know, a lot of people have been saying, oh, it's emo Bruce Wayne. I'm most likely thinking that he's a businessman, and um, most of his day is spent being a businessman. Maybe he won't have much of a personal life. Maybe he will be fully consumed in being Batman, which will most likely, I think, lead to the big old fact of him um, needing to change in a way that is helpful for him. Basically, maybe he's been doing Batman too long, uh, being Batman too much in the day, and then he will learn kind of how to find that balance throughout this movie because, you know, more of the people get hurt when he's Batman in the middle of the day, you know, um, Something like that. I'm thinking that Riddler is just trying to break him, after all. I think Riddler just wants to break the Batman. Um, you know, he wants him to, you know, say, like, if your justice do not lie, you know. Um, I am assuming that, of course, Jim Gordon is going to be a big, big role 
in being the kind of helpful Robin type character to this. I am hoping that we get a scene at least somewhat confirming that Robin will be in this trilogy or will um, make an appearance later on, you know, just as a sidekick for the last movie when he needs it. Now, the, the big one that is probably the most stretchy, but I don't feel it is incorrect. I think that at the end of this film, we will get confirmation for any number of villain. You know, you can say anyone. I'm thinking that we might get a villain who is confirmed in this movie, um, or whoever, you know, kind of shows up in this one, will be Clayface. Now, hear me out. I think Matt Reeves knows that Clayface is a ta fantastic character to use. Because I don't know why James Gunn didn't use him in his series, in his Suicide Squad movie. That would have been a perfect movie. But I think if Matt Reeves uses him right, doesn't really need to explain him. Because after all, you can just say, oh, it's a man who got, you know, tested on by a lab. And, you know, now he's, you know, basically moldable like clay. And they call him a face because he has no real face. And he could turn out to be someone. He could turn out to be any number of people. You know, just been disguised as them. He could even be disguised as the Joker, like in the Arkham City way. You know, I think that is one something that I would really like to see because I think a gadget-heavy Batman has the best chance of beating Clayface. And I think that this Batman, a lot of people have been saying Robert Pattinson's refusing to work out. Actually, if you read the article, he's saying, I'm not doing as much. I feel like I'm doing little to nothing. Meaning that he feels like that way. But that doesn't mean that he is doing nothing. And he's never refusing in the article to work out. He does point out this thing that I believe too. Why is it such a modern precedent that if you're, you know, in a role, in a super, in any hero role, any role impossible, you have to get buff for it. Why is that the case? Why is that the rule? Um, I mean, that's the thing. Like, we don't need a ripped purely shredded spider-man that's why toby Maguire was great he wasn't he wasn't you know christian bale definitely not ripped and shredded but then ben affleck came along looking all hunky hunky and so with same with uh you know good good old henry cavill but guess what we give you an exception henry because you know why would we why wouldn't we you know you're amazing um so yeah those are my theories again i think the last one is the most far jump but I do think this is the right one. He's the right one. I also think that there could be a possibility, if we are going to see the fun line race in this movie, that um, a possibility is Joker kills them. Just for fun. And then he turns himself into Arkham. I'm assuming that this Joker won't be the villain. I'm assuming, you know, we might get like an Arkham Asylum way. I'm not talking about the game. I'm talking about the comic book. In which... Um, Joker makes Batman go to Arkham and then he tortures him while all the rest of the uh, inmates try to pick him off one by one and it breaks him down psychologically and heavy and he's Batman is ruined uh, when he comes out of it. Uh, you know, I think that might be the way that they're heading, but I think, you know, Joker's going to be kind of his uh, Hannibal Lecter, you know, he'll just talk to him. Joker won't do anything. Joker might inspire people to do stuff. He might have, you know, bombers and stuff around Gotham. But I think he won't be a villain. I think Matt Reeves is going to go a tiny bit more obscure an obscure for them. Um, that's what I think. That's what I think. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching my Batman theories. Whoa!